Famed legal scholar John Wigmore, best known for his treatise Wigmore on Evidence, once described cross-examination as, quote, the greatest legal engine ever invented for the discovery of truth, unquote. The right to confront and cross-examine witnesses is ingrained in the Sixth Amendment's Confrontation Clause, which provides that in all criminal cases, a defendant is entitled to be confronted with the witnesses against him. Why is this right so important, and where does it come from? The trial of Sir Walter Raleigh, a British explorer charged with treason in 1603, provides some answers. Walter Raleigh was charged with treason. The Crown alleged that Raleigh met with the Baron Cobham and conspired to advance Arabella Stuart to the throne. Cobham confessed and implicated Raleigh. Raleigh was tried to a jury, presided over by a panel of judges. At trial, the Crown introduced Cobham's sworn confession as evidence. Raleigh argued that Cobham's confession, obtained by torture and later retracted, was unreliable. Raleigh sought to call Cobham as a witness, so that he could either affirm or recant his accusations against Raleigh in person. The Crown also called a witness named Dyer, who testified that while in Lisbon, he heard another man say that Cobham and Raleigh had planned to kill the future king before he was crowned. Raleigh also objected to this testimony. The court denied Raleigh's request to call Cobham as a witness and permitted the introduction of Dyer's testimony, 